to Senior Shape Up. We are on day four of Daily 15. So this is really exciting. We have got five exercise moves that we are going to repeat twice. So it's really going to be fantastic for the heart, muscles, and the whole body. Do grab yourself two tin cans from your kitchen cupboards. If you've got dumbbells, even better. And make sure you've got a strong, sturdy chair to be exercising on. Remember to hit that subscribe button down below along with the bell and you will be uploaded with the next exercise video. We've got three levels as per usual. Level one is going to be seated. That's all going to be in the top of the video here, so do keep an eye out for that. Level two is going to be holding onto the chair and level three, you're going to be in the middle of the room, predominantly using your weights. Do stop and slow down if you have any discomfort at all and make sure that you check with your GP that it's fine for you to be exercising with me today. Do grab a drink of water because you might get a little bit thirsty as you're going along. And apart from that, just enjoy yourselves. Make sure you've warmed up, hit the link below if you haven't warmed up and then come and join me when you're fully warmed up. So let's get going. Okay, we're gonna be starting off with four punches forward. Here we go. So level two, we're just holding onto the back of the chair. We're gonna punch it forward four times and then up to the ceiling for four times. Good. Now level two, um, level three, you're coming into the center of the room and you're going to punch it up Good, so we're gonna go for four, three, two, one, and four, three, two, one, and four, three, two, one, and four, three, two, one. Good, now make sure that you are activating your um, toes so that they are, are moving in your shoes, keeping the heart and the lungs working. Weight, put the weights down into active recovery. Nice, easy hill pump here. We've got a double side step coming up. So we're gonna be stepping to the side and then back to the center. So I'll give you a quick preview. Step together, step together, step together, step together. Here we go. Level two, step together, step together, step together, step together. Level three is a little bit more effort. So a step and step. Good, step, step, and really try to pull those arms in. Good, and as you're pulling the arms in, squeeze between the shoulder blades, go crack that nut. Fantastic, keep that going. Steady pace, good. You want to be feeling that you can hold a conversation but you're a little bit breathless through it. That's the way. You can talk to me at the screen if that helps. Okay, keep going. Steady stepping into active recovery, nice, easy, active recovery. Now, this is a press up. If you're seated, you're going to place your hands onto your thighs and press up through that position. Level two, you're gonna keep your fat feet flat onto the floor. You're gonna come forward, pivot from the waist with a flat back and come up again. So this is why it's important to keep that chair nice and strong. Now, I push my chair right up to my cabinet so it can't move at all. So this is a press up on the chair. If you want to, take it to the wall instead. Level three, up nice and tall in a plank position, and then you've got to go for a press up in this position here. Notice how my body is a straight line. So this is known as a plank. All the effort is coming through my arms and my chest as I'm pushing up and back. If this is not working for you, drop it down to level two. Good, where you're just pivoting from the hips. Excellent, easy heel pump, so back into recovery. And then we have got a step and a knee. So it looks a little bit like this. We're gonna go for step, knee, step, and knee. Good, are we ready? A couple of seconds left to go. Here we go, so step, knee, step, and knee. Well done, step, knee, step, and you keep that going. Now level three, you're gonna take your arms up nice and wide and you're going to tap the top of the opposite knee. Opposite hand to knee, here we go. That's it, tap it up. Good, can you bring those knees up even a little bit more? That's the way. Nice and steady, keep breathing all the way through. If this pace is too fast for you, drop it down, good. You need to be working at the right level for you. Keep it going, steady pace. 
in for active recovery. So nice, easy heel pump here. Fantastic. Lovely. And we're going to go into a bicep curl. So you need to find your weight. Good. Roll the shoulders back and down and place your feet flat onto the floor. Good. Now we're going to go for a single, single, and then together, double and double. Here we go. And single, single, double, and double. Now level two, it's just without using the weight. So, so just with your fists. That's it. Good. Level three, you've got your weights there. You're wiggling your toes inside your shoes. And of course, the seated option, you've got your weights. Oh, you don't have to have weights when you're seated as well. Good. Keep that going, nice and steady. Elbows are close into the body. You're controlled in your movements. Weights go down. Good. Oh, look, we've done one round already. We're into round two. Yes, round two, here we go. Right, so we are back into our punches. So, option to use weights if you wish. Soften the supporting knees, hands onto the back of the chair. Ready, and one, two, three, four, to the ceiling, up, two, three, four. I'm gonna take it to level three, one, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, forward, and up. Good, and forward, and up. Excellent, forward, keep it going, and up. Good, punch it forward, and up. That's it, punch forward, and ceiling. And forward, and ceiling, wiggle those toes. Good, weights down, fantastic. Okay, nice, easy wiggle there. Now we're gonna take it into a double side step. So we're gonna take a step to the side and a step to the side. Step together, step together. Here we go. And step together, step together. Level two, just holding onto the back of the chair. Good, level three, let's pick it up. And step and pull, step and pull. Soften those knees as you're stepping to the side. Good, activate the upper back muscles. That's it, come on, we've got this. Bring on 2021. Good energy, good vibes. Whatever this year throws at us, we are in this together and we can spread some happiness and get fit at the same time. Yes, it's all about our own personal journey, creating healthy bodies. So we're going to into a nice, easy heel pump, back on the heel pump again. And then we're heading into a press up. So remember, level two, feet flat onto the floor. You're just gonna pivot forward from the hips. Okay, so it looks a little bit like this. And up, here we go. Tummy muscles pulled in, good. So elbows out to the side and push up. Good, keeping that pace nice and steady. Level three, remember, you're coming into a plank, good. Make sure your chair is pushed right up against your wall. Do not attempt this if your chair is flimsy. Just even go straight to the wall and press up there. I always find that the kitchen sideboard is the best place to do these exercises because you cannot move that, but it's really sturdy. Yeah, keep that going, steady breath. Nearly there. Well done, active recovery. Grab a sip of water if you need one. Otherwise, keep those heels pumping. Let's get that blood back up to the level of the heart and stabilize our blood pressure. Super, we've got a tap, step and knee coming up. So it looks a bit like this, step, knee, step, knee. Here we go, step, knee, step, knee. This is level two, level three, arms come out to the side and we're gonna see if we can increase our pace just a little bit. Good, soft knees and bringing the other knee up there. Lovely, shoulders nice and low. If you feel like your shoulders are coming up to your ears, just drop them, relax any tension. That's it, then back on with the exercise again. Good, steady breath, keep that going. Doing well, guys. Super job, only a couple more seconds to go. Go on, three, two, one. 
hill pumps, so back into your hill pumps. Now we're going into our bicep curls, so this is the second round. Again, just use your fists if you want to, or pick up your weight. I've got my lovely kidney beans today. Roll the shoulders back and down, soft knees. Wiggle those toes, single, single, and double, double, good. And single, single, double, double, good. And again, single, single, double, double. Hold the core in nice and strong. Good, keep it going, double, double, and again. And single, single, double, double. Doing well, especially if you guys are seated there, you're doing a fantastic job, keep it up. Well done. Yes, and weights down. So they're nice easy into an active recovery because we are on our last round. This is one, two, three, round three, here we go. Okay, so get your weights for punching forward, otherwise just use your fists. Okay, so I'm ready for this one. I'm picking it up, here we go. So we're gonna go for four, three, two, one, and up. And four, three, two, one, and up. That's it, good stuff, and four, three, two, one, and up. Now remember, if you're level two, slow it right down, and then you've got the back of the chair to hold on to. Four, three, two, one, and up. Last round. Four, three, two, one, and up. Good effort. Four, three, two, one, and up. I'm watching you at home. Four, three, two, one, and up. Good, and again. Four, three, two, one, and up. Woo! And four, three, two, one. That was my little one just about to pop in and say hello. So that would have been fun, wouldn't it? Okay, in for a hill pump, nice and easy. Now, next one coming up is a double side step. So we're stepping out to the side. So we're gonna go for two steps. So we've got one together, two together, one together, two together. Good, keep that going. Now, I'm gonna take it up to level three. So I'm picking up my pace and I'm squeezing between my shoulder blades. That's it, picking up and bringing it in. Good stuff. And in to the side, 20 seconds. That's it, all you've got is 20 seconds of this one and you're not gonna be doing any more side stepping for the rest of the day. That's it, come on, keep it going. Yes, yeah, squeeze in, crack that nut between the shoulder blade. Good, and step together, step together. Good, easy, active recovery now. Back in for our press up, seated, hands onto the knees, elbows come out. Level two, feet flat to the floor, pivot forward from the waist and up. Level three, plank straight body. I'm gonna start with level two, so coming out and up. Good, shoulders low. Excellent, keeping the pace nice and steady. That's the way. Level three, here we go. So nice straight body and push up, down and up. And how you want to place your hands completely depends on you because if you have got any arthritis or anything like that, you're gonna to have to work around it and find a position that suits you best. Good, steady breath. That's it. Couple more seconds left to go. Keep pushing up there guys, doing well. In for a hill pump. You've only got two more exercises left. So the next one is a step and a knee lift. Looks a little bit like this. We're gonna go for a step, knee, step and knee. Keep that active recovery going. We know how important it is to really make sure that we're keeping our feet moving. Here we go. Step, knee, step, knee. Now it doesn't matter how high you get that knee. It could just be an inch off the floor. Anything that you can manage is a huge, massive tick. So well done, because you're actually having a go at doing this. Super, level three, here we go. Bring up that knee. This is the last time you're gonna do these today. So let's try and get a good little bit more of effort going if we can. And raise, and raise, raise, and raise. Good stuff, go on, raise, and raise, you can do it. Steady breathing, shoulders low, 
active recovery. Good, nice and easy. It's also really good to do active recovery because when we work out, our muscles get quite fatigued at the end, lots of lactic acid builds up, but by doing active recovery, keeping that bloodstream and keeping the toxins going around the body so hopefully we can excrete it out. Okay, bicep curls, grab your weight. We're into a single, single, double, double. Good, strong elbows close in to the body. It's just the forearms which are moving. So single, single, double, double. Now wiggle those uh, toes in your shoes. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Good. That's it, steady breath. You've only got 10 seconds left. Oh, keep it going, keep it going. Good, nearly there. Woo! Yes, pop the weights down. Nice, easy hill pump. Oh, and relax the shoulders down there. You have done absolutely amazing. Do make sure you hit the link below for the cool down to make sure you cool down nice and steady. We're just gonna wait till we finish this active recovery. Activity. Yes, we've made it all the way through, woo! Well done guys, you are absolutely amazing, fantastic work. Do hit that subscribe button along with the bell and leave me a comment below and I shall see you tomorrow. Keep safe, keep well, all the best. Ciao, ciao.